This is the first day of school for 46 million American children. For Peter, the day will be special. Peter has Down syndrome. Until now, Peter has only been in class with children like himself. But a federal law requires that children with disabilities be educated in regular classes with normal students. For some people, this law represents an advance in education. Others believe this controversial law will slow the progress of the rest of the students. This is not the story of either side. This is Peter's story. The following events were filmed during Peter's third grade year at Gilbert Lincoln Elementary, a public school in Blacksburg, Virginia. My role as a teacher is to teach all children, and I've always felt that. But I could see that this was going to be a constant challenge. Hey! I, I sat right across from him, so when I sat down, I was like staring at him, and because and he looked different, and I was really scared, kind of him, because he was really making these loud noises. Do you want to show you? No. Do you want to show your work? Yeah. Show your work. Hold it up. Like with the thick glasses and his his clothes were different and big, kind of. Um, and his shoes were so small, and his feet. He he looked smaller than every, everyone. Wait, why, why do we have him in our class? And he's probably not going to learn any, anything. Where'd you get your picture? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. He had a picture right. of President Bush. Right. So I like where you didn't yeah. say for yeah. because we could be doing an advertisement for another president. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Where does the president live? Yeah. 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 Now, he's just yeah. the different things. I was scared. I really was scared, um, even though it was kind of exciting, one part of it, at the other side, it was like, I don't know that I can do this, and what happens if it doesn't work? Did that sound like Marietta? No! no. Yes. That's what it was. It All right, he's going to tell us about the violin, and we'll be, okay. Peter, he's going to tell us about it. Shh. Okay. He's fine. He's fine. He goes, do you want to stand by Peter? Yeah, I mean, do you want yeah, Peter? Do you want to stand by Andy? Yeah, man. All right. Okay, now. There's first there's two parts that you need to play the violin. The bow and the violin. violin. <laughs> That's right. Without the bow, you can't play the violin. Oh, oh, oh. Yay, Peter. Well, you can walk it. Now, yeah. now, Andy, tell me, is there something that he could do to hurt the bow? Yes, he could ruin the horse Okay, strings. so what should the he do if he wants to hold it? Would you show him? Peter, listen to what? Andy. He's going to tell you how to properly hold this. P no, he will not hold the violin. No, only Andy will hold the violin. Only Andy will do that. Only Andy holds the violin. But Peter? Peter, no. Peter, wait, listen, stop. Whoa. At the count of three, I want you to hand that to Andy. One, two, three. Would you hand it to Andy, please? Peter. Do it for Mrs. Stallings. Thank you. Okay. Now, listen to Miss. Listen to Mrs. Stallings. No, I did bad. I just, you gave you gave it back. Now listen to me. Do you want to sit at the corner and share with the class? Listen to the sharing. Yeah. Peter. Okay. Just a minute. 
I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay. I want your hands off of this. I want your hands off of this. Hmm. That was a little scary. I didn't want to see myself paying for a violin. We had made it through the first week of school. Um, and at the same time, I thought, wow, can I do this all year long? I was always on guard. I'm always afraid that something's going to happen when I'm not there and that they're really going to need me. And that's scary. I was pretty scared of him because he was pushing people, kicking people, and the class didn't know what to do, so. He had strangled me and already pulled my finger back. So it, I didn't really start off to like him. And if you listen, you can hear blue in wind over water. Yeah, sure. What makes it blue? Yeah. Why is cold blue? Stuart? Ice. Hot, wild, creamy, blistering blue, and on winter mornings, the dawns are blue. I need everyone looking. Right here, Peter. Here's the picture. His behavior uh, was inconsistent, uh, a little unpredictable. The kids were taken back by it. Even I was taken back by it. Peter, come on down, sweetie. You might get hurt. Come on, sweetheart. You're not supposed to be up there. Peter, come on, honey. Come on, honey, get down. Constant um, watching, uh, putting out fires, so to speak being on guard at every moment, watching the other children very carefully, watching Peter very caref carefully. Peter, no. Um, try your best and um, have a good attitude. Yeah, y'all just sit down on this side of the Buddy! Buddy! Whoa, no, no. Peter, can you let go of him? Peter, Peter. Yeah. Not that much attention. I was just scared. You know, I never had a chance to get mad. I was totally froze. Very quickly, I realized I needed some help from everyone, you know, from the kids. I needed them to be involved. And we decided, after talking with different groups of people, ourselves, that if the kids can have some more ownership in what's going on in their classroom, and it is their classroom, and with Peter, it's going to work better. And that's when we started some peer planning. Alex? What do you think if you tackled Peter back, what do you think would happen? Well, he would probably do the same thing we would do to him. Mm -hmm. So it or wouldn't maybe be... a little different. I think Peter just tackles people just to get attention. Mm -hmm. Or get a reaction out of people. We're going to work on trying to decrease the physical stuff by maybe not giving him as much attention when he does it. But giving him attention for things that he's supposed to be doing right. Like, if he's supposed to be sh shooting the basketball and he does it, great. It doesn't matter if he gets it in or not. It just matters if he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Whenever he usually gets real restless is when we're waiting. Okay. Like in the... Yeah, yeah right. we're, we're all yeah, so we're restless. All very yeah. impatient. We have to yeah, wait in line and we're just to talking. Not. By the second month, Peter was having fewer outbursts, and the kids were beginning to work much better with him. Peter, I don't like that. 
Are you going to be using the glue anymore? No. Here comes Stuart to add to your group. Let's see what Stuart's come up with. There's times when I really have to hold myself back, not to jump, in, jump into a situation that basically they're about ready to take charge of. Come on, Peter. Peter, I need to talk to you. Mom. And I'm not sure that I knew third graders were capable of doing that. I think I know I didn't think third graders were capable of doing that. In your seat. At the count of three. One, Peter. Peter. One. Two. Are we gonna have to talk to you in recess, Peter? I'm sleepy. You're sleepy? Well, I'm sorry, but we need to talk just a moment. At the count of three, I need you in your desk. One, two, three. Then we'll talk about this afternoon during recess. Is that what you would rather do? Okay. Yes, Travis. All right, now listen. When their group was working over there, you went over there and you bothered them, didn't you? Sorry. I know you're sorry. Could, can you tell me why you did that, Peter? Peter, look at Mrs. Tullings. Why did you bother those boys and girls who are working so hard? No, it does seem way. Mm -hmm. You wanted them to put their things away? Yeah. Why did you bother them, though? Yes. Why? Was that a nice thing to do? Peter, look at Mrs. Tullings. Was that a nice thing to do? Yes. Yeah. Bother to jump on Andy. Was that a nice thing to do? No. No. Did the boys and girls like that when you did that? No, yeah. Hmm? Did they like that? Yes. You don't like that, did they? Would you like to be bothered when you're doing a group activity? Yeah. Let's, let's talk about this. The next time we do something in our groups, I want you to stay with your group and not bother the other groups. Do you understand me? Yeah. Okay. I think you need to talk to some of the people that you bothered. Do you know what you need to say to them? So. Okay. You need to talk to them, not me. Okay? Okay, I think Peter and Andy need to talk just a moment. Andy? Andy, Peter wants to talk to you. Hey, you two talk. I'll be right back. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Cool. would come home from school and he would just hum. He just makes this humming noise that's sort of like a motorboat sound. And it's what we call his happy sound. And it just, he just keeps going like a motorboat, humming and smiling, humming and smiling. What color popsicle do you want? Orange. Close the freezer, please. And he hummed and smiled for two weeks. Never stopped. He um, he couldn't stop humming and smiling. He was just he was he was tired at the end of the day, but he was so good and so happy. Where have you been with your bike, Peter? Where have you been with your bike? You been on the road? Yeah. You have. Yeah. Ah, no choking me now, bud. No choking me. <laughs> Ah, uh, quit kissing. <laughs> yeah. You're not tired. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Sleep tight, Pete. Good night.
right. Who was it that was singing Dinah Dinah that time? We no. see. No. Try one more time. One more time. Right behind you. She's right behind you. She's right behind you. Right behind you. To be honest, at the beginning, um, the academic area was something I wasn't thinking about. It was making him a part of, of the classroom. Um, so we kind of set a goal there. And then once we reached that goal, let's, uh, let's go another step further now. Let's see what else Peter can do. Okay, let me show you the journal I want you to do this morning. I bet Jill would mind to help you if needed. Look. Wonderful. Look at all the pictures. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want to put it up yet. I'm not, we're not through. Jill, read to Peter what this says. Environment is. Environment is. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to tell Jill the names of what's in these pictures. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to put it up. I want you to tell her the names. And Jill, you can write them beside the word. I'll write them down here on the line. Just a minute, please. What is this a picture of? Frog. Frog. Very good. Very good. What is this, Peter? Fish. One more time. Fish. Fish, it is, isn't it? I changed my expectations. I kind of went from, Peter, I'm not sure you can do some of the things I'm wanting you to do, to now, Peter, I'm expecting you to do some of these things because I know you can do it. What is this again? Yeah. You want to tell me what these are? Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll put it up if you'll tell me what each one of these things are one more time. Could you do that for me? No way. No way? Well, we're not going to get finished. And then, is journal on your list that you can mark off? Let's look. Is journal on your list? Yes. When we finish this, you can mark off journal. What is this? Frogs. Frogs. What is this? Fish. Good. And what is this? Yummy. Excellent. Good job. Now, what can you do? You can put your journal up, and you can mark off journal. Good. No, you're not. Just get to work. You're doing fine. What do you think about environmental issues? Miss Dice. Miss Dice. Miss Dice. I do this bit. Hmm? What? Your pictures? Are they glued on you? That's stupid. No, let's not talk about being stupid. You're a smart little boy. Good. Are you ready to do your pictures? Mm. Nah, he's just trying to get us going this morning, isn't he? Why don't you finish this sheet and do your journal so you can do your science experiment with the group? Do you want to do the science experiment? Yeah. Good. I think he felt a little lost. Well, he knew we were doing some things that he couldn't do. He knew he was basically out of place for a while. It's interesting how the girls have kind of taken on the, the mother role with Peter. Um, this wasn't something I introduced to them, but if we go to the cafeteria, just naturally they were the ones that started sitting by Peter. He separates us by what we can do better. The girls are better at starting a conversation and keeping it going. The boys would be not so good at that till they get their selves together because they're disgusting down there. And he really understood what we were doing and what he was supposed to do. And he just sat down and just started working. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. He started reading. He started pasting. He started 
running and catching things and pee, and he just changed it all. our games up because the first bell rings. having a few outbursts, but they were usually at the end of the day when it was time to get on the bus and leave his friends. Peter, no, no, we don't like that. Peter, Peter, oh, Peter. Oh, the box Peter. is crazy. Get off, okay? She doesn't like that. Don't you even think of it, Peter. Mm. Peter, Peter, hide. Mm. Peter, no. because we changed. He changed because we changed our minds about him. He changed because we, we helped him. You think that you're teaching Peter things, but Really, Peter's teaching you things. And we might be teaching him stuff like how to do things, but he's teaching us more how to think and how to react to other problems. learned a lot of things this year. Yes, they've learned their spelling and they've learned their reading and their writing, but this year they have learned to accept another child who's not exactly like them. 
who has a disability and is not going to have a future like they're going to have, but that they want him in their classroom, they want to include him in everything, and they want him, him to be a part of their lives and of what's going on every day in here. He's been a joy for a friend. It doesn't really matter who your friends are. I mean, Peter's one of my best friends now. And some of the normal people in my class aren't my friends, but Peter's one of my best. The last day of school is always emotional. But it was particularly hard for Peter to say goodbye to his friends. The next award we will give is called the Teacher's Special Award. This award goes to students who teachers feel have had an exceptionally good year this year in third grade. Those receiving this award are Michelle Huo, Peter Gwazdowskis, Amy Hicks. I even get sad when I think about Peter not being in my classroom next year, and I probably shouldn't say this, but if they said, you really need to go to fourth grade and you really need to work with Peter next year. Would you go and I'd go? Congratulations, Peter. Congratulations, Amy. Congratulations. 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 